say just like you have to train every day in fitness or in the gym or whatever it may be, you have to train yourself to be good in finances as well. Like whatever work you put in is the outcome that you're gonna have. It's like, you know, studying for a test. If you study, when you get to the test, you're gonna be good. If you haven't, you're gonna be nervous, you don't know what you're doing. And that's definitely kind of what I felt like in finances too. The more that I've trained, like looked into it and gathered different resources, the more confident I feel in being able to be financially independent and knowing what I'm doing. And I think just like with fitness, there's such a mind mindfulness component to fitness, and there's such a, a mental mindfulness component to finances as well. It's mm -hmm. like we need to uh, not ignore the demons, the gremlins, the, the inner critic that we have in our head that's telling us to be quiet and not talk about money, to not talk about salaries, to not talk about investing because of how we grew up or how we didn't grow up. And I think that that's another aspect of training. Mental training can help both your fitness, your fitness life and your financial life. Mm -hmm.